What is going on, chatbot builders? Ryan here, and today you're going to learn all about one of my favorite flows, the AI summary. Let's get right into it. All right, we are in the flow section here, guys, and we are going to click on add, and we'll call this AI summary. This is such an easy flow, and yet it is so extremely powerful. I think I'll show you a few different versions of how this works. But in this case, what we're going to do is we'll first rename our starting step and we'll call this generate the summary and we'll click save. And what we're going to start off with is an action. So we'll click on the node, click on add content on the left, choose actions. Again, you can use any LLM that you've connected with, but by default, we're connected to OpenAI and that is perfect with me. We'll click on the OpenAI element and we'll leave it as generate text that should be fine and what we're going to do here is add some custom instructions i've got a few different ways that you could do this but the idea is whatever information that you want to know related to your business this is where you're going to put that information so here's what we'll do for our first set of instructions we've got to provide a concise evaluation of the conversation assign a grade summarize the key points the outcome and include one or two recommendations for improvement Keep it brief and to the point. And so what should happen here is we should get a title, a grade, a recap, and a recommendations. These are not custom fields, by the way. These are just standard brackets. This should let the AI know what we want. Now, the one thing that I will change here, instead of using the date in brackets, what I'll do is I will use last interaction. And this will give me the timestamp of the last interaction that the user had with my agent or my assistant. And so this is all good here. What I'll do for the user message is I'll say, here is the conversation history. And got a colon there. Now, while you do see the list of custom fields pop up, we do not include chat history in that drop down list currently. This is such a popular field, we might have to include that soon enough. For now, you just type it and trust yourself. Chat underscore history will contain all of the messages, the last 25 messages back and forth. You could use chat history long and our other custom fields if you need more than that, but this is a great way to handle the AI summary. And so what we'll need to do is we've got our custom instructions, that's great. We'll just need to, let's turn off our function. We'll just need to actually create one custom field. Let's just call it AI summary and click continue. And so the result from OpenAI or whatever LLM that you've chosen will use your custom instructions. It will then also use the chat history and generate an amazing AI summary. Let's click continue. The next step is also have it your way, right? You can do this in multiple ways. What I would say that I would do is make one additional node called send the AI summary. I'm going to click add content, actions, notify admins. I am the admin of this account. All right, so let's give ourselves a really good notification text alert. Let's say chat ended with, and then we can use our custom field for full name. If we know the full name, it'll appear. If not, it'll be the standard guest identifier. So the chat ended. Here is the recap colon. And then I can literally just go here and type in AI summary for my custom field. And however I choose to get my notifications as an admin, in most cases email, this will be sent right to my phone as soon as it's initiated. This is probably the easiest way. There are other ways, again, to get the AI summary sent to yourself or an admin or your client. The clients love this, by the way. What I could do to show you how this is gonna look without having to go deeply in my email is I could actually display this as a text element just for this demo. And so I'll say internal example only. That way we know what's coming on here. This is not um, for the end user, this is for the admin. So I've got my message here, my title internal example only, and then I'll just use AI summary for the content of this message block. And so let's just call this internal review. 
All right, this is looking really good. That is it. That is your whole AI summary. It's gonna blow your mind how great this works. And we'll throw in some more complex summary requests in the block here as well after we test it. But let's hit publish. And the way that we can activate this is by using the default flow with a timer. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out. So what we'll do here is in our first get user data element block, we're waiting 30 seconds. Let's change that just for the time's sake to five. So after five seconds, okay, after five seconds, it's going to follow up and say, hey, are you still with us? Now we could still log this custom event, but in this case on that secondary follow up, we'll give another five seconds or so. And after that, we're gonna consider the conversation to be ended. And so what I'll do is I'll click on this plus sign down here and we are gonna click on start flow. So we've waited five seconds, we've waited five seconds, nothing's happened. So we're gonna consider this a conversation that has ended. We'll use this log custom event action to track that and we'll connect to this node. The node is gonna be a start flow node and it is gonna be connected to the AI summary flow we just made together. Let's rename this and call this send AI summary. Let's hit publish. We are looking good guys. Generate the reply, send the reply and wait, follow up. If nothing happens, again, they've, they've just gone off somewhere else and they've uh, left their phone. We followed up and again, if nothing happens after, in this case, five seconds, we're gonna log that for our records and then we are gonna send the AI summary. Now again, we're gonna be able to see the text as I go through this as a demo, but in a real world use case, you just wouldn't show the text to the user. You would just keep the internal notification yourself. So let's start this off by going to the welcome message. Let's click on our assistant tab here and click preview. We should get our nice welcome message first. We could say, thanks for the nice message. So we get our first reply. Do you serve seafood? So it's coming very fast. Thanks is coming very fast replies, but I want to stop here and we should have about six seconds to go until we get hit. Boom. Hey, are you still with us? We see that that is working just fine. Another five or six seconds will go by and then this should trigger the AI summary to be sent to the admin. In this case, we see it because we just want to see what it says. And so check this out. This is fantastic. We can see the conversation evaluation report. This is just too amazing. We can see the internal example only title we gave that static text. We see the title. We see the title, the actual time they gave our conversation a B. The conversation began with a friendly greeting offer to assist about Ryan's restaurant, blah, blah, blah. And then here is the recommendation avoid redundant questions, encourage engagement. So that is fantastic. Before we end, Let's make one adjustment to our AI summary flow. I just can't take the smile off my face. I love seeing that work so well. And let's find a larger one. So this will be a detailed template. All right, so let's just go ahead and just make a simple change to our custom instructions. So here you go. Here's our custom instructions. We can remove this title as well as this title. So use this template to create a co comprehensive evaluation of the conversation. Include a grade, an in-depth summary, interaction and resolution, one to three detailed recommendations. And then again, we have the format that we're looking for. Here, um, you can use as many custom fields as you'd like. In my case, I'm just gonna use the last interaction as my timestamp. Here is the conversation history, and we're using this custom field chat history that's built into all accounts by default and that will show the last 25 messages. So let's click continue. We've just adjusted our custom instructions just a bit and it should be a bit more robust if everything goes according to my plan here. So AI summary is done. Let's go back to the welcome message and let's click here. Open our assistant to preview. We should get our nice welcome message. Hey, how are you? I'm typing fast. What's today? We didn't tell it what today is, did we? Today's wonderful, okay. And so now we'll just wait five seconds or so. And it's going to say, hey, you still with us? And then we'll wait a little bit longer, five, six more seconds. And then it's going to start that next flow. But it's going to take a second to generate the summary of our conversation here. And we can see it indeed. It is more detailed. Now, I do want to show you. I can see that it cut off a little bit here. 
the reason for that, look, I got my B grade, my title, all that looks so good. The thing I want to show you though is because I asked for a longer output, I do need you to make one adjustment. In your AI summary here, what we'll do is we'll click on this first AI action block. And because I asked for a long summary, instead of generate text, we're going to choose instead generate text advanced because this allows us to remove this token limit. We don't need to worry about that limit. Remove it and click continue. Hit publish. Now let's just try that again one more time by going to the welcome message. Open our assistant tab, preview. We'll say, hey. I want pizza and fried shrimp. Do you have shrimp pizza? And so now we can just kind of wait for like five seconds. I can check if they have it. Boom, there's our, hey, are you still with us? And again, we're gonna wait five more seconds. That flow is gonna get sent. It's gonna analyze the conversation we just had, provide us a recap, send it to my email as the admin, but we're also just looking at this so you guys can see it quickly um, in real time. The recap and recommendations based off of our stuff. And check it out, this time we got an A. The user initiated a conversation expressing a desire for pizza and fried shrimp from Ryan's restaurant. That is amazing. Here's our recommendations, one, two, and three. Implement, implemented FAQ, this is so good. This is AI, how people just don't understand. We already have it at our fingertips, but you just have got to take the time to know where to look, what to learn, the right network. And I hope that you and CBB Nation here with us at Chatbot Builder AI feel right at home. I hope you are networking like crazy. I hope you're asking help from our bot as well as myself and my team. We are here for you. We can't win unless you win. And if you've gotten through all these videos, just want to say thank you so much. We look forward to working for you for a very long time. Have a great day. Peace.